Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror thriller film, A Quiet Place, Part 1. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. It is day 89 after an apocalyptic event. The town appears to be completely abandoned, as silence fills every street and establishment in the town. It turns out that behind this seemingly ghost town, a family still dwells here, trying to survive. The family tries their best to silently move into an abandoned grocery shop. The family's maternal head, called Mother, cautiously looks through the medication bottles on the shelf. She grabs a medicine bottle and gives it to her sick child, son. To assure her deaf daughter, short-named daughter, Mother says that everything is fine through sign language. Shortly after, daughter checks her younger brother, Fat Baby, who is drawing a rocket on the floor. Baby signs to her that they will escape the planet through the rocket. Then, Baby accidentally makes the rocket toy fall from the shelf as he tries to grab it. Daughter quickly catches it. Meanwhile, the family's beardy father, nicknamed Messy Beard, is preparing tools to strengthen the signal of the radio. He also prepares a cutting plier for daughter. As the preparation is completed, mother signs to her family that darkness is coming. Suddenly, baby slowly walks to them, holding the rocket toy. Messy Beard then carefully takes it away from him and removes its battery. Messy Beard lets baby understand that the toy is too noisy. As they are about to leave, daughter secretly hands over the rocket toy to baby, making him happy. Outside, it appears that the family is following a sand trail as they walk away. Shortly after, it leads them towards the woods. When they arrive at the bridge, Baby's toy suddenly plays a sound. Upon hearing this, Messy Beard seems to be completely terrified. He then rushes back towards Baby. Unfortunately, he is already too late, since the smelly alien creature instantly grabs Fat Baby away. In the next scene, it is already day 472. The family is at home on their farm. Daughter peacefully lies on the sandy ground, while mother arrives holding fresh vegetables. Meanwhile, Messy Beard surveys his family on the camera he set up. He also set up radios, hoping to trace possible survivors from the apocalyptic event. There is also an old newspaper depicting alien invasion, alongside a board writing that shows their possible knowledge about the alien creature. It appears that Messy Beard tries to plan everything to make his family survive. Meanwhile, son walks inside a cellar. There, mother, who appears to be pregnant, is setting up a soundproof baby crib with an oxygen supply in it. In the meantime, Messy Beard is having a sentimental moment as he looks at Fat Baby's picture. As night comes, Mother prepares dinner for her family. When dinner is prepared, the family performs a silent prayer. To avoid clanking noises, they eat their dinner on lettuce rather than on plates. After dinner, daughter and son come to play Monopoly. As son makes a move, he accidentally pushes over a lamp which sets the rug on fire, Messy Beard quickly responds to kill the fire. Their faces suddenly show worry, fearing that the alien creature will come to attack them, due to the noise created by the lamp. As they carefully listen to their surroundings, they hear a noise coming from the roof. They get nervous, thinking the noise comes from the alien creature. But when Messy Beard checks it from the window, it appears that the noise only comes from raccoons. They then feel relief. Later that night, Messy Beard proceeds to work on an ear implant that will enable the deaf daughter's hearing. As he appears to be extremely tired working, Mother comes to take him into a hormone dance. She then puts headphones to Messy Beard's ear, so they can both listen to the music. They then both romantically dance while enjoying the music. In the next scene, day 473 comes. Along the sunny meadows, Messy Beard proceeds to pour sand for their walking path. Meanwhile, in the cellar, Mother checks her blood pressure, as it appears that her pregnancy's due date is only a week away. She then listens to the sound of her unborn child, using the stethoscope. Meanwhile, daughter cautiously walks as she enters the house. She only steps on the marked wood to avoid any creaking sound. When she tries to step down the basement, Messy Beard arrives to stop her. So she angrily walks out of there. Messy Beard then chases her to let her understand that she is not allowed to go down the basement. Then, he asks her to try the hearing aid he created earlier. She says that the hearing aid never works. He then insists that he adds a device to make the hearing aid better, but she still thinks that it would never work. Her response makes him disheartened, so he just hands over the hearing aid to her. In the meantime, mother teaches son mathematics. Messy Beard arrives with a bag and reminds son that it is time to leave. It seems that Messy Beard wants son to join him on a short trip, but son is scared to join him because his beards are too messy and angry. Mother then assures son that father's messy beards will protect him against all odds. Also, Mother tells him that he needs to learn from Messy Beard, so he can protect her when she gets old. 
As they are about to leave, son still insists to his father that he does not want to go. Daughter wants to go with her father instead. But Messy Beard tells his shitty daughter to stay at home to help mother with the household chores. So, she angrily walks out, while Messy Beard and son proceed to leave. Inside her room, daughter tries the hearing aid. But she just gets totally devastated, upon learning that the hearing aid still does not work. So, she prepares her backpack, and grabs her pliers, and proceeds to leave the family farm. Meanwhile, Messy Beard and Son arrive on the river. Messy Beard takes the fish caught in the trap he sets up. However, the fish then creates splash noises, that freak the shit out of Son, since he thinks that the noise would alert the alien creature. Messy Beard then makes him understand that it is safe to create low noise when there is a noisy surrounding, like the water sound in the river. Back at their home mother carefully carries the heavy laundry bag upstairs. The bag suddenly snags up the pointed nail on the stair. She then forcefully pulls it, which exposes the pointed nail. He then brings Sun to a loud waterfall, so they can freely speak with each other. At first, Sun is scared to talk, but Messy Beard assures him that everything is fine. As they start to have a conversation, Sun asks his father if he blames daughter for baby's death, since she blames herself for what happened. In response, Messy Beard says that it was no one's fault. So, Sun insists to Messy Beard that if he still loves daughter, he should tell her about it. Meanwhile, daughter arrives at baby's memorial site located at the bridge. There, she unwraps the rocket toy from earlier. She then uses her pliers to cut the fuse from the toy that creates sound. So when she turns it on, it only lights up. It appears that daughter regrets that she did not cut it upon giving the toy to baby. Back to messy beard and son, they are walking to the woods when they suddenly encounter a depressed old man. It turns out that the old man's wife is lying dead on the ground. It seems that the old man's wife gets killed by the alien creature. As Messy Beard hushes him, the old man releases a wild scream that calls the alien creature. Messy Beard instantly grabs Sun. They then hide behind the tree, while the alien creature attacks the old man. Back at their home, mother's water breaks, a sign that she is about to give birth. She then immediately heads downstairs. Unfortunately, the nail pierces her foot when she accidentally steps on it. It feels very painful but mother manages to prevent herself from screaming it. However, the picture frame falls out of her hand, which lures the alien creature towards their house. Shortly after, she courageously pulls her foot out of the nail. She then turns on the red lights that serve as a warning signal. As she is going upstairs, she sees the alien creature is already lurking inside their house. She then proceeds to search for the mechanical timer. When she hides in the corner, she sees the alien creature walking down the basement. Suddenly, a mechanical timer rings, making the alien creature attack it. So she quickly grabs this chance to quickly go upstairs. There, she also sees another alien creature towards their house. Mother proceeds to go to the bathtub as she is about to give birth. She then tries her best to prevent herself from screaming. Meanwhile, Messy Beard and Son, who just arrived at their house, also see the alien creature. Messy Beard then instructs Son to create a loud noise to call the attention of the alien creatures, Sun then immediately rushes towards the firecrackers, and lights it up. As he releases the firecrackers into the sky, it creates loud noises. Mother then grabs this chance to release a loud scream while giving birth to another fat baby. At the same time, Messy Beard grabs his shotgun, and slowly walks inside their house. Inside, he sees blood in the bathtub. This makes him think that mother is already dead, so he starts to weep. But it turns out that mother is still alive, hiding in the bathroom with their newly born child. He then carries mother and the newborn child towards the cellar. He put the newborn child in the soundproof crib, so it could freely cry without calling the attention of the alien creature. Meanwhile, son is walking back to their home, when he suddenly hears the alien creature. Terrified, he immediately runs toward the cornfield, where he knocks himself to a tractor, making him unconscious. Daughter is walking back home when son's flashlight catches her attention. The alien creature suddenly appears behind her. Fortunately, her hearing aid releases a high-pitched noise that torments the alien creature, forcing it to run away. When daughter walks towards the flashlight, son suddenly appears and tightly grabs her hands. They then emotionally hug each other as they reunite. They then proceed to stay on the rooftop. Back to the cellar, mother wakes up in terror as she dreams about baby's death. She then remembers son and daughter and starts to worry about them. Messy Beard reassures her that daughter and son are smart enough to figure out what they need to do in an emergency. In response, she tells him that they need to do everything to protect their children. He then leaves the cellar to look for daughter and son. 
on the side the water from the pipes starts to flood the cellar. Shortly after, mother wakes up, finding the cellar already flooded, while the alien creature lurks around to find something, using its auditory senses. As she cautiously takes the newly born child from the crib, the alien creature's ugly face appears in front of her. Despite being terrified of it, she silently walks out of there to avoid alerting the alien creature. On the rooftop, Sun accidentally falls in a hole that leads to a massive granary. This then calls the attention of the alien creature from the cellar. Messy Beard sees the alien creature rushing towards the rooftop, while he is heading towards there to find daughter and son. Back on the rooftop, Sun appears to be slowly drowning in the massive amount of grain as he tries to struggle from it. The door from the hole also falls, which almost hits him. Daughter also jumps in to help Sun. She then pushes the fallen door towards Sun, so he can hold on to it. Unfortunately, she sinks herself upon handing the door to him. He then steps on the door and uses all of his strength to pull her out. Upon saving her, they tightly hug each other. As they sit at the door, they start to hear the alien creature lurking outside. Suddenly, the alien creature jumps right in front of them. They then use the door as a shield from the alien creature, but they look helpless as the alien creature pierces through the door. Luckily, daughter's hearing aid releases a high-pitch frequency that drives the creature's ass away. After that, they jump out of there, meeting their father, who just arrived at the scene. They then happily hug each other. As they sense that the alien creature is coming, daughter and son hide in the pickup truck, while Messy Beard grabs an axe. Suddenly, the alien creature appears behind Messy Beard. He then attempts to hit it with the axe, but it is quick enough to hit him first, making him fly away. Upon seeing this, Sun releases a loud scream with his mouth wide open. So the alien creature comes to attack them at the pickup truck. Outside, Messy Beard emotionally lets them know that he always loves them. At this dramatic moment, Messy Beard is ready to sacrifice himself to save his children. He then releases a wild scream that calls the attention of the alien creature. It then proceeds to kill him while Sun turns the pickup truck to neutral. This makes the pickup truck roll down the hill. As they arrive down the hill, they tearfully reunite with their mother. They then head back home. Mother and son walk down the basement, while daughter hesitates to follow them, since it seems that it will be her first time to go there. She slowly walks down, where she finds Messy Beard's tools used to create her hearing aid. She also sees Messy Beard's equipment and tools for their survival. At this moment, she further realizes Messy Beard's love towards them. She then tearfully holds the tools at Messy Beard's workbench. Suddenly, the alien creature walks down the basement. Mother then points the shotgun, as the creature tries to sense them. Meanwhile, daughter turns on her hearing aid. It then releases a high-pitched sound that greatly disorients the alien creature. Upon realizing that it is the alien creature's weakness, she proceeds to use the radio to release another round of high-pitched sound. This time the alien creature suffers a huge headache and slowly deteriorates. But it still has enough strength to stand up. As it proceeds to attack them, Mother immediately shoots it with a shotgun, killing it in the end. They then feel a sigh of relief. But upon looking at the monitor, they see a troop of alien creatures rushing towards their home. In the end, they prepare themselves for their upcoming battle. Daughter sets the radio to the highest frequency, while Mother pumps the gun with a sarcastic grin on her face. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.